started playing like you do uh, when you sit on a nice beach uh, and and I built a face and uh, that's how I became interested in sand sculpture it was very uh, spontaneous uh, event so and I've been uh, hooked ever since. It's, uh, it's a natural human instinct to uh, play with sand, take children down onto the beach and the first thing they do is to start patting and start playing. Well we're just taking it a step further that's all. Before I was a sand sculptor, uh, I was a traveller and uh, I did work. I worked in the steel industry in the north and I was a builder for many years. So I already had a, a grounding in sand. I did a lot of uh, a lot of mixing uh, cement and uh, sand is you. So I had a good idea of how to turn sand into uh, a medium uh, that was solid. So my building, uh, my building history came in there and still does come in great. It took me uh, 10 years before I could uh, uh, see any financial gain uh, in sand sculpture. Uh, I never really went into sand sculpture to make money. I was doing sand sculpture uh, purely for pleasure. Working on the beaches uh, in Cornwall, uh, I quickly got noticed by local media and local press. Uh, I spent most weeks on the beach making uh, one form of sculpture or another, always something different, uh, experimenting and uh, slowly but surely uh, different jobs would uh, appear. I taught sculpture uh, to the children of uh, Cornwall for at least uh, seven years on the beaches, even in the long jump pits in schools. There are about 60 professional sand sculptors uh, in the world, uh, maybe two in the United Kingdom. We are growing larger every year. People are entering uh, uh, professional sand sculpture from ice and snow sculpting and from also stone sculptors. You've got to keep pushing it, you've got to keep trying. When, it, when it's not easy, you've got to keep going. You've got to keep breathing and going at it, even if it's difficult. And it is difficult, it's a difficult for a lot, a lot of the time. I always think it's best if we make our passion our day-to-day -day thing. If, uh, for me personally, it's sand sculpture. This is the last sculpture. She's got to go because she's had her life. I feel a little bit sad to see her go, but I know I will see her again on the beach one day. Okay. Bye. <laughs> the art is in the artist. It's only sand.